story to tell. The word "fighting vehicle" is increasingly used by the world's armies. Will it be able to completely replace the main battle tank in the future? During the development process, the defense industry in many countries around the world has produced many different types of weapons. They were particularly interested in the idea of mounting a powerful weapon on a light wear armor chassis. The popularity of the design flourished in the second half of the 20th century. Where combat vehicles were created with power not inferior to the classic track armored vehicles. So, what are the advantages and disadvantages of these combat vehicles? The first issue to mention is that the guard vehicle is relatively light. And this simplifies transporting them to the battlefield. The mass of light wheel combat vehicle, even with additional armor plates, does not exceed 20 to 25 tons, much less than any other main battle tank. Deploying wheel vehicles with heavy weapons is a much easier task. The ability to deploy wheeler combat vehicles by military transport aircraft is one of the main reasons why these vehicles are used, developed, and served by many armies around the world. In modern armed conflicts, it is necessary to quickly bring military equipment to area of a conflict. And the military has come to a sensible decision: light armor vehicles, such as armor personnel carriers, infantry fighting vehicles, and guard combat vehicles, will be brought to the battlefield first. Light armor vehicles, including guard combat vehicles. Will function as a highly mobile combat unit to support ground forces. Where armor vehicles have a higher travel speed compared to track vehicles, which gives the advantage of maneuverability and speed, with much less harm to the road surface. The downside of the wheel tank, though, it is poor off-roading capabilities. Such vehicles travel very quickly on asphalt and dirt roads, but on rough terrain, they immediately lose to track armor vehicles. Another downside is the poor level of self-protection. The wheel tank is light. Mainly because the armor is thin and weak, which means both advantages and disadvantages. Where armor vehicles cannot be used in combat like the MBT, nor they are suitable against the MBT. It is more suitable for the role of destroying light armor vehicles. This combat vehicle is more suitable in areas where the main battle tank cannot be deployed, and large-scale military operations are not performed. It is more suitable for urban combat. In actual use of the wheeled combat vehicle in the world, its downsides 
were noted. The wear base did not turn out to have any particular advantage over a track vehicle. In addition, speed is not necessarily an advantage due to the lack of good road and when used on off-road, its weaknesses are more evident. In addition, tire wear while driving on complex terrain is much higher than expected. It is easy to see that the wear combat vehicle is not a complete replacement for the MBT as it lags far behind in some basic characteristics. What the future of the wheel tank will be? Of course, it will continue to evolve, and improvements could go the way of enhancing protection while maintaining a sufficiently light combat weight. And of course, the reality of modern military conflicts will play a big role in shaping the look of a future world tank. My video about world ammo vehicles ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.